Optivotomous coming to you with another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new minion in my collection, Stuart from Despicable Me 2. Now, Stuart was also in Despicable Me 1, but as I mentioned in my day review, they really didn't give us uh, action figures or toys for the first movie. I think the, the massive success of that first one allowed companies such as Thinkway Toys to look at toys as a very viable option for them. Now, as you can see, Stuart here is the one-eyed minion. That's Dave right there, I believe. Now, for the most part, there are really basically only three different minions. Stuart, Dave, and the taller one, which is named Tim. And it seems that all of them are mutated, because there's like a million of them, they're all mutated from the same strand of DNA that these three kind of come from. So basically, there's a bunch of different clones of the original guys. That's that's my take on it. I don't know if I'm 100% accurate, but that's what I'm going with. Now, as you can see, it says 46 sane slash giggles, all in the original voice. Uh, he does have the soft skin, much like Dave did. He can move his head for funny expressions, and he laughs. Now, like I said with the, uh, the Dave review... They basically have two modes, and, and I later corrected myself. I said, well, they don't really have two modes. Well, they actually do. For Dave, it was the banana mode where you push inside of his mouth, he eats a banana, and then he, he farts, which I got a giant kick out of because I'm so very immature. Stuart here has an LOL mode, and it says when you quickly press his pocket six times, it activates his LOL mode or laugh out loud mode. Press his pocket again and move his head back and forth, left or right, whatever, and you hear him laugh constantly. He's one funny minion, he says. And then he goes to talk mode, which if you don't do this, he just talks back and forth. And as I mentioned, he's got 46 different saints. Now, typically speaking, when it's not played with after, after a little while, it will turn off to conserve its battery function, which is something that's really nice. And then you see down here you have Dave, Stuart, Gru, and there's Tim. Now I haven't found Tim yet. I think he's in like maybe a later wave or something like that. But he's the one I'm really kind of looking forward to. As I mentioned, my, my buddy TFG on Mike uh, mentioned that I'm basically like Tim and he's basically like Dave. So uh, I don't I don't know who Stuart is. Maybe Stuart can be Bob Gilmer, the one and only slime blower Bob. So there's the packaging for it. It's not too spectacular. You got, you got that there. You got the instructions for how to actually change the batteries and things of that nature. But really, that's that's about it for them. Absolutely terrific looking figures. I love them. So let's get them open and see how cool Stuart actually is. All right, guys. So here we have Stuart open up and out of its packaging. And once again, this is a wonderful representation of how Stuart looks in the Despicable Me movie. Now, unfortunately, this one, you, you guys are going to get a lot of laughing from me in this review. Now, mostly because all of it's going to be done by Stuart. Now, as I mentioned, he's got two different kind of modes. Just his regular mode, where you push in his belly. Oh, God. And he talks. Or you can... So, I mean, he gets the sounds and everything. Now, unlike Dave, he doesn't have a thing where you can push him, uh, push a button in his mouth to eat a banana. The, the banana mode was exclusive to Dave. Stuart has an LOL mode, which means if you push his belly, uh, I think it says six times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, now, he, now he's not even... Oh, you have to do it fast. I'm sorry. And then, all he does... ...is just laugh. Um, and that, that's all he does. Now, that's, that's kind of fun, but it... Honestly, it gets a little bit old and boring after a while. And then he goes back to his normal scenes. Now... Uh, in, in terms of, well, first in terms of his articulation, obviously his arms will rotate here at the shoulder, much like, Dave, uh, much like Dave's did. They rotate in and out. He bends here at the elbow, and the wrists actually rotate. And then the feet rotate from side to side. So you could get some, you know, very minion-looking poses 
with this guy. I mean, it's really very cool, and I love it. And he does have the soft skin as well. As you can see, very soft rubber through, through the upper body. Uh, the bottom section is all hard plastic because that's where his batteries and the electronics go. Uh, and obviously, you see he's only got one eye where Dave had two. The problem, though, is that a lot of the Saints, well, not a lot of them, but a couple of the Saints that I've noticed from, from Stuart here really should belong to Dave. And bringing out Dave, you can see that they are the exact same height. Now, Tim will be a little bit taller just because that's kind of accurate to how it is. He, he's, the, he's the skinny, taller one. Now, going through his sounds, like I said, uh, where, where this one, it just seemed to be kind of generic uh, minion sayings, Stewart's seem more specific. There are a couple that are specifically from Despicable Me 2, and I only know that because of the recent trailer. So going through it, we got... What? Well, that's one right there. The what? I can't even get that high pitch of a voice. That was said by Dave in Despicable Me 1. And you can tell because in that scene, uh, the, the particular minion had two eyes. So maybe it wasn't Dave, but it was the minion that had two eyes. So that voice, voice clip really, I think, should be in this guy. Then going through some more. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And you have to keep hitting it for that. But that's another one. Beedo, beedo, beedo. That was another one from Despicable Me 2 where it was the two-eyed minion that was saying it. He had little sirens on, like, the top of his head, and he was going around saying that. So, again, it's a voice clip that shouldn't be in this guy. And then for one other one... <laughs> and I'm just going through him to try to get to that particular sound. That's it, the scared sounding one. Okay. <laughs> There's like three of the little scared ones. That again is Dave from Despicable Me 2 in the very first trailer when they're going out and they're, well, it's Dave and Tim and they're going out investigating a sound that they heard and he's scared. So there's at least three voice clips that I really think that this guy has that this one actually should have. And that really kind of disappoints me. Now, I actually did try taking this entire section apart to try to swap the mechanics out to, to put those voice clips in him and conversely take the voice clips from him and put them in him. But it won't work because, like I said, this guy, you got the, the, well. He's got the button on the inside of his mouth. This guy doesn't have that. And actually, you can feel that the internal sections are a little bit designed differently. This one is a lot closer to the actual rubber of his outer body. This one sinks in a whole lot more. You can really see how far that goes in. Whereas this one really barely goes in so i couldn't switch out the, the the mechanics now does it bother me yes it does but i i still love the way that these guys look and you heard me go through all the sounds they still don't say but which sucks but you have to do this like i said six times fast one what? two three four five six <laughs> and then you get the left and right eye movement he closes his eye when you lift it up, much like Dave did. And that just goes on and on. a little tired from all the laughing but regardless of the way that the voice clips are actually incorporated with this guy i still think it's a wonderful wonderful collectible i mean you can see these guys look spot on that's one thing that's absolutely amazing about them they literally look like they jumped right out of the movie into toy form so that being said 
without a doubt, I would highly and absolutely recommend picking up these guys. They are so very fun and just really are some of the coolest toys that I have in my collection. It is a little bit more unfortunate that, like I said, the voice clips just aren't accurate, but the toy itself still is very fun and well worth picking up. Now, I picked mine up, as I said, at Toys R Us. I do think that they hit my area a little bit early. I think I've seen places say that they're not supposed to hit retail until about May. So you guys might have to wait a little while, but trust me, they are well worth it. But that's about it, guys. So until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.